Imagine your blood vessels as highways, carrying life-giving blood to every corner of your body. Day after day, these roads work tirelessly, delivering oxygen and nutrients to keep every organ alive. But over time, small particles like fats, cholesterol, and other substances begin to stick to the walls of these highways. At first, the changes are invisible, traffic flows normally, and you feel nothing unusual. But slowly, the lanes narrow and the smooth rides become more restricted. Then, one day, without warning, a complete roadblock may form, cutting off the blood supply to the heart or brain. This silent process is called atherosclerosis and is the hidden engine behind heart attacks, strokes, and many other serious diseases. What makes atherosclerosis so dangerous is its stealth. It progresses silently for decades and often gives no warning signs until it is already advanced. While it can be deadly if ignored, its progression can be slowed, controlled, and even prevented, with the right lifestyle choices and medical care. Atherosclerosis is a slowly progressive condition that affects blood vessels, specifically arteries, by forming atherosclerotic plaque, which is a buildup of harmful substances, such as certain types of cholesterol, on the walls of blood vessels. Over time, this buildup can harden and calcify, creating a bulge that obstructs normal blood flow. This bulge is unstable and may erode, exposing its inner structure to the blood, which can lead to the rapid formation of a blood clot at the site of erosion. This obstructs blood vessels further and may completely cut off blood flow to a part of an organ. When a blood flow is interrupted for a long enough time, the affected organ or part of the organ becomes deprived of oxygen and dies. The medical term for this phenomena is infarction, and it can affect any part of the body, including the brain, heart, bowel, kidney, and even bone. When the affected organ is the brain, we refer to it as a stroke. And when the affected organ is the heart, we refer to it as a heart attack. Both are among the leading causes of death worldwide. The precise origins and causes of atherosclerosis remain unclear. What is known is that the process begins in childhood and gradually progresses throughout life. Under certain circumstances, however, this progression can accelerate dramatically. Several risk factors are thought to drive this acceleration, such as genetic predisposition, high blood pressure, elevated levels of low-density lipoprotein, the so-called bad cholesterol, high triglycerides, type 1 and type 2 diabetes, obesity, physical inactivity, smoking, and diet high in saturated fats and refined sugars. As the atherosclerosis progresses, the arteries gradually become narrower, reducing blood flow to important organs and tissues. For many years, it may cause no noticeable problems, but symptoms usually appear once blood flow becomes critically low, depending on the organ involved. Narrowing of the heart's arteries can cause angina, chest pain, pressure, or tightness during physical activity which usually improves with rest. In more severe cases, it may lead to a heart attack or heart failure. When the brain's blood vessels are affected, symptoms may include headaches, blurred vision, temporary weakness or numbness on one side of the body, trouble speaking, and, in severe cases, a stroke. Reduced blood supply to the kidneys can contribute to high blood pressure. Poor circulation in the legs arteries may cause claudication, cramping, or sharp pain in the calves after walking a certain distance, relieved by rest. To diagnose atherosclerosis and conditions associated with it, the doctor begins by collecting detailed information about patient's lifestyle, medical history, and current medications. Basic tests usually follow such as an electrocardiogram or EKG, 
and blood work to check cholesterol, blood sugar, inflammation markers, and blood counts. It is recommended for patients to bring a list of their medications or the actual medication packages to the appointment. Additional tests depend on which organ might be affected. If the kidneys, legs, or neck arteries are suspected, an ultrasound of the blood vessels may be performed. In some situations, a CT angiography can provide a detailed image of where the arteries are narrowed. For the heart, more specific tests may be needed, such as scintigraphy, which shows how well blood is reaching the heart muscle, or coronary angiography which directly visualizes the coronary arteries. Initial treatment attempts focus on lifestyle modifications aimed at slowing disease progression. This typically involves strict management of blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and blood sugar for diabetics. Blood thinners, blood pressure medications, and medications that lower cholesterol levels may also be necessary. Specific treatment will depend on which organs are affected. For example, if hard blood vessels are involved, procedures like stent placement or bypass surgery may be considered. If arteries in the neck are narrowed, surgical removal of the blockage may be an option, while surgical bypass techniques may be required for affected leg blood vessels. By adopting healthy lifestyle choices, the progression of atherosclerosis can be prevented, halted, or slowed down. A diet rich in fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains is recommended, along with low-fat dairy products, fish, chicken, legumes, nuts, and vegetable oils. It is advisable to limit the intake of fatty meats such as pork and lamb, full-fat dairy, and tropical oils like coconut and palm oil. Additionally, reducing sweets and sugar-sweetened beverages such as sodas and fruit juices is beneficial, as is lowering salt intake and avoiding canned foods and processed meats, which often contains high amounts of salt. Maintenance of a healthy body weight is very important. The body mass index, or BMI, can be used as a simple estimation tool. This index is calculated using a specific formula, with a normal BMI ranging from 18.5 to 24.9. A BMI between 25 and 29.9 indicates overweight status, while a BMI of 30 or higher is classified as obese. For example, if you weigh 75 kg and are 175 cm tall, when you plug this number into formula, you get BMI of 24.5. If this calculation is complicated for you, you can calculate your BMI using a variety of applications on the internet, or your doctor can calculate it for you. Lastly, I want to emphasize that physical activity is extremely important in slowing down the process of atherosclerosis. Engaging in at least 30 minutes of moderate physical activity is also recommended. Your arteries are the highways of life, carrying blood, oxygen, and nutrients to every part of your body. Atherosclerosis is like a silent buildup of traffic jams along these vital roads, slow at first, but capable of causing sudden and catastrophic blockages. The good news is that you don't have to wait for a crisis. By choosing healthier foods, staying active, avoiding smoking, and managing blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar, you can keep your highways open and flowing. Every small step you can take today, whether it's a brisk walk, a balanced meal, or quitting cigarettes, is like cleaning away debris from your arteries. Protecting your heart and brain begins with keeping your life's highways wide, strong, and clear. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more educational content. Have a great day.